Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? Today I'm bringing you guys an unboxing and test of the 1x1 Bluetooth wireless keyboard with touchpad. So, um, to get this thing going, I just want to kind of show you guys the box. Um, on the back side we kind of have half of 1x1's logo. Um, looking pretty stylish here. We do have a nice cardboard box, you know, with those, with that easy flap on the bottom. And um, overall looks very nice and very minimalistic. So to get things going, I'm going to need to go ahead and actually um, cut off those two stickers um, on the bottom side here. So that should be pretty simple. You know, kind of got to get those, those stickers off. All right, so now that I have those flaps unhooked, kind of untaped, I'm going to go ahead and pop this keyboard on out. So right off the bat, right off on the top of it, you're going to see this keyboard, and it's just going to be sitting there. Very thin. If you look at that right there, that's very thin. And on the back, we do have this black part to put your battery in. And we do have a little user manual just kind of sitting right there, so I'm pretty sure that's pretty much it for the box. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I really needed to put in here. Um, it's kind of in this nice wrapper, so let me go ahead and take that out. So here is the keyboard itself. Um, as I told you guys earlier, this is very thin, and you really do have a really nice aluminum finish on the back here. Um, and this keyboard is just feeling very lightweight, you know. I can kind of toss it around. Got some very clicky keys right off the bat, um, except for this, this touchpad. For the actual mouse buttons, it's going to be very silenced. I'm not sure if you guys can actually hear that, but... Um, that's what I kind of like about it, you know, it doesn't really make too much noise. Because I don't, I don't really like those clicky mouses, whenever you click, you know, it just goes like... Tch, tch, tch. You know, this one's nice and silenced. Um, so we got some very clicky keys, that's for sure. Keys are kind of pushed in, you know, so if you're used to kind of your, um, your wider keyboard, you know, this might be a little drag to kind of get used to, but I actually tried typing it with it already, and it, I didn't really have much of a problem. Um, so here is basically your touchpad on and off. And then you also have your uh, Bluetooth button right here. I can already see, you know, that C is your Bluetooth button right there. And then we're going to get uh, just some all sorts of different little things here in the user manual. Basically telling about this, you know, different gestures you can make um, on the little touchpad. So I guess this is primarily meant for mobile devices, okay? So if you want to use this for your computer, um, I don't really, I don't really recommend you for that because you kind of got this touchpad here, and if you already have a mouse, you know, then you might as well just use the mouse instead of using this touchpad. But I mean, you you could use it for a normal computer. Um, I mean, there probably are some better options out there. But I'm just gonna go ahead right now and go ahead and pair it up with my device. You're actually gonna need two AAA batteries for this keyboard. Um, if I go ahead and actually remove this little thing on the back here. As you can see, we have slots for two AAA batteries right here, and we also have a little dongle holder. The only bad thing about this, um, I think, is a con. You know, they didn't really include a dongle, so I had to go ahead and actually get one myself. All right, guys. So I have my two AAA batteries here, and I have the cover off. I just went ahead and slid that off. This cover's going back on, and I'm just gonna go ahead and slide that thing in like that. And right at top here. Um, actually, on the top right of the keyboard, right above that touchpad, you have the on and off switch. You want to go ahead and switch that to the on position. Alright, so now that it's on, we have this blue indicator light above the touchpad. And now that it's turned off, we're going to want to go ahead and actually press the FN and the C key at the same exact time. Oh, there we go. And you actually want to wait till the thing's kind of blinking up here. There it is. Alright, so there we are. It's blinking. That means this thing's ready to pair. I'm going to go ahead and grab my Nexus 7, and we're going to pair this thing. I'm going to go ahead on my Bluetooth, and I'm going to go ahead and try to find where this thing is. So, looks like we have two available devices. Um, and I haven't really seen anything about a keyboard showing up here. And I know this is still in pairing mode. You got We got that blue thing going. So I'm going to go ahead and take a wild guess. Ooh, there we are. The one by one keyboard, actually. And it's going to uh, ask for a pairing code. Um, I guess I have to go ahead and actually type that in on the thing. 237416. Woo! That worked like a charm. Alright, so now that we're connected, 
um, the lights actually didn't go off on the keyboard, and we're ready to go. So, I'm not really sure how this is supposed to work. Kind of just waiting to find out. I guess there's supposed to be a cursor showing up on my Android screen. Whoa, 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 that is weird. Alright. Holy smokes. Okay, let's see. Holy smokes. Alright. Okay, where's that button right there? Oh my gosh. That's actually really cool. Alright, I'm actually going to get a better position with the camera, and I'll show you guys really how this works. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm back with a better camera angle. And, as you guys can see here, I'm actually moving my finger on that on the a touchpad and you can see the mouse is actually moving which is really really cool those are gestures that I showed you about earlier those are actually only work on Windows 8 which of course I'm actually running Android 5.0 here so um, this is just really amazing look I can actually click on this Google up here um, not sure if you guys can actually see that but we have Google right there and if I click on that it's gonna go ahead and just open that up I could just type in let's just say vidology youtube and perfectly on the first try you know i actually get it i'm gonna go ahead and press enter on the keyboard and it's gonna come up with some results you got the one by one logo right down here and you got the touchpad turning on and off button so i kind of want to show you guys that button right here this little bad boy right next to the alt key and if i push that i guess now the touchpad's not gonna work dang it but when i push it back we got that touchpad again I might as well just keep using this with my mobile device, you know, wherever I go, I'm probably going to bring this along because it really is nice, you know, if I ever need to take notes or anything, I can easily just take those notes using this thing. But for my computer, I think I'll stick with my current keyboard. I kind of like that, you know, even though it is wired, the convenience of this is the wireless function, but, um, I mean, this is perfect for any mobile device. So like this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.